Hi, YouTube. Welcome to part four of Dead Space with a Therapist. Hope you've been enjoying your ride along the USG Ishimura. I'm sure you are, because you're still here. Thanks for keeping chat and comments spoiler free. Thanks for the thumbs ups. Do it again on this video if you don't mind. Helps me hit the algorithm so that more people see my stuff. Check out my other playthroughs too. If you like the analysis bits of this, you'll like the analysis bits of the games that have a lot more to it. I've been enjoying this though from a gameplay perspective. So thanks for hanging out. And let's see what old dudeski here is all about. Maybe he's just irked because they ran out of body bags. That's probably what it is, right? All right, locate the source of the broadcast. Uh, every other door is locked, so in this one we go. Babies? Yep. What up, baby? I don't know why I always say that. I always say, what up, baby? But it's just something about it. Diagnostic imaging. Sir, are you okay? Kindly avoid disturbing my other patients. What is this? Research, of course. I'm so close to finding that missing factor. A unitologist would understand. Oh, God. So, wait a minute. All these people just... We were already in here. Oh, dude. Dude. All right, so what we probably have here... Oh, God. ...is a classic case of objectification. Which we've talked about in other playthroughs, but uh, when you see people as objects instead of as people, you are far more likely to treat them as such. And it's actually not super hard for the human brain to get into that space if you really want it to. The most, I think, salient example that the most people watching this can connect with is the way that we talk about unhoused folks. Uh, there is a real objectification of people who are like on the streets and don't have homes. And we use words as a means to further objectify them. And the reason we do that is because it helps us sever our empathy. Because if you empathize with things like human struggling and torture and pain, that's painful. It's not easy to do that. Uh, we don't usually enjoy it. So objectification serves a really strong utility in helping you push forward through an agenda that you think is important. So in this case, this doctor who is part of the Church of Unitology and believes that there's probably some higher order thing that they're supposed to pursue is treating these people not as people. He's treating them as test subjects or objects that are a means to an end. And so if you walk in here, you go, oh my God, how could a person do this? That's how you do it. In the same way that any of us objectifies things that we don't want to feel a sense of empathy for. We don't always do it consciously, but um, when you, when you, you, people do horrific things to other people when they objectify them. It's why, like, even in, in wars, like World War II, there were slang terms that were used for the opposition. It's a further way to ensure that you don't see yourself as shooting another human. You're shooting a thing.
Dude, I don't want to leave this thing going. You kidding me? I mean, I don't respect the things that this guy's doing. I kind of want to end the misery of the people on these chairs. Oh, okay. I can't. Well, that's fun. Mommy, where do babies come from? This. Just show that clip to your kids. Ugh. God. Plasma cutter is almost full send. I guess we might as well just... I mean, honestly, that's probably what most people feel like when they're giving birth. Clearance confirmed. Clearance confirmed. Glad the cargo lifts still were Ugh. Gosh. It's crazy how this like fully disintegrates. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, the squishy squishy is a little rough. Stasis recharge, how generous. Observation room to zero G therapy. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm supposed to go that way, so we're gonna go this way. As is as you do in video games. Ooh. Content warning. Uh, psychological manipulation and medical malpractice. Patient log retrieved. <clears throat> there. I have to record these days. Um, the old memory, you know. As I was saying, the new treatment I'm developing should be just the ticket. The trial is very promising. T trial? Uh, you'll be back at your post in the jiffy with CEC none the wiser. Unless you don't trust me. No, uh, of course I trust you. Let's uh, give it a shot. Volunteer 9 is a young male, <laughs> testing my new tissue regeneration formula. I expect death within the hour, but the changes to the vascular system are very promising. One moment for the cleanup. 
<clears throat> For the last time, get a trauma team in here. Yes, I called three times. My patient is crashing. Get off your smoke break and help me. Oh, man. This is going to be a doozy to talk about. Because this is something I'm super passionate about. <clears throat> uh, so I say this as somebody who is a licensed professional. Who has a... I, I mean, I hold a license that is protected. I am bound by a code of ethics. And that's for a reason. When you are a medical professional who is licensed, uh, you're in a very important position and a very precarious one in the sense that you hold power. Whether you want to or not, you hold power. Because the idea is that a lay person can reasonably assume that you know what you're doing and by virtue of being a doctor or a therapist, you're working in their best interest in accordance with that code of ethics. And this is something that doctors, therapists, etc., have to take very seriously because your ability to influence people is far more strong than uh, just another person saying the same thing. So when this guy is sitting on the table in the doctor's room and the doctor maybe lays out something that seems scary, if it was just a regular dude suggesting that, there's a good chance that the patient or volunteer nine would never have consented to that treatment. But if a doctor tells you, yeah, uh, we could do this. This seems like a good idea. This is a, this is a treatment that may be sound. I realize that it's scary. You might feel weird about it, but you trust my expertise as a medical professional and thus you are more likely to say yes to it as a result. That's the amount of power you wield. So this guy trusts this doctor and the doctor immediately switches gears into this is a test subject for a research experiment he very obviously did not consent to. And now this dude's demise is happening because of it. When you are in a position like I am, you have to take your presence as a licensed professional seriously in every context. Because if you don't, if I go around giving unethical, shitty advice to people without any kind of assessment, without any kind of service agreement, you are more likely to hear the things that I say and do something with it or integrate it than you might some other random streamer who's giving some information like that. Hell, that's probably a good chunk of the reason why so many of you watch me is because I talk about things like this and you trust that because I'm a therapist with a PhD that I know what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> as it relates to mental health stuff in particular. And that's an important role that I have to occupy. If I go around spewing personal bullshit or hack pop psychology nonsense, I legitimize it because I have a license. And so I don't do that because I believe in ethics and integrity. So this poor guy got sucked up into that vortex of a person in that position of power with his own personal religious agenda, I am assuming, who is decided to act irresponsibly and the client appears to have consented to it because they didn't know any different. It's not a patient's job to understand a doctor's code of ethics. My clients are not responsible for knowing the MFT code of ethics. I'm responsible for knowing it and adhering to it. And it, it, it grinds my gears when I see people act unprofessionally and engage in this kind of behavior because it's incredibly harmful.
And you deserve to be reprimanded to the fullest extent if you're a person that does it. I have a sense we're not going to be fans of old Dr. Mercer. Clearance confirmed. Clearance confirmed. God, that's terrible. It's just terrible. Oh, the gravity chamber. Oh. map real quick. Ah, there is a room that I haven't... See? That's why you look at your map, because there's a room I wasn't able to get into earlier, and we're gonna go into it. Ooh, Isaac's heart is beating. Boy, this is a dark room. Line rack schematic. Terrible place. I don't I don't like this place. Chemical Research Lab. The Ishimura Chemical Research Lab contains volatile chemicals and toxic biological agents. Maintain safety procedures at all times. Okay. Hopefully there's no bad guys down here. Oh god. I have 15 shots with this thing, so let's go ahead and... Good. Oh, wait. Am I back in the... Oh, wait a second. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Am I... Oh. What the hell? Okay. So we just did, like, a full-ass loop. That was weird. Okay, I got, like, way turned around there. See if there's any level two security clearancey stuff in here. Yes, sir. Clearance confirmed. Good to know that wasn't actually her that beckoned us here. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan. 
Dude, look at that thing. It's like Luke Skywalker, but worse. Shipwise transmission override. Isaac Clark. Just a trick. Isaac. Isaac. Make us. Oh, good. Isaac Clark. All right. Dr. Brennan's nearest and dearest. We were colleagues, you know. Dr. Chalice Mercer. Are you the reason the marker won't begin? That's it. Convergence is installed. <laughs> She's meddling. How is the question? But even if I was to ask, I suspect you're not the talkative type. And I haven't fully explored the cause of death as that missing factor. Dismemberment. Now I think you're on the right track there. Try and relax, Mr. Clark. Convergence is so close. Maybe your death will tip the balance. that money. All right, go. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. What a terrible thing to have happen right now. Oh, God. Okay. Good to know. Creature's still in there. That's fun. Unwise, Mr. Clark. My hunter may regenerate, but he takes an attack like that personally. Oh, cool. You're proud of that. Oh, good. So this is going to be like alien isolation now. I'm just constantly running away from this stupid ass thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, dude. I gotta buy some ammo. Oh, and he's back.
I don't think the autopsy room is it. <laughs> yeah, I already did everything we could do in here. Let's keep it moving. To the intensive care unit. This is not the way. Yay, we get to go back into the fray. Okay. Where you at, bud? Where you at, buddy boy? George, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Clearance confirmed. Oh, beautiful. Look at all this. Hopefully there's some good yummy yummos in here, because boy oh boy, am I hurting. The line gun. Oh good. Alright. Still counts, Justin. All right, what is this? Uh, the line gun, wide beam cutter equipped with laser targeted survey charges. for heavy duty mining. Oh, so this is basically like a big, oh shit. All right, space bar fires it. That's interesting. <laughs> Oops. Oh God. Okay, so that I can hurt myself with this. Oh geez. All right, we should probably go. Should probably get out of here. Keep going. Oh, Lordy. <clears throat> okay. Cool. I love how he just left his office unlocked for me. Personal log, Dr. C. Mercer, Second Science Officer Observations. Convergence, where the bodies of the dead will rise, united, undying, made whole by the marker. So we're taught. But all this raw material, all my work, and the marker remains inert. Ever since that first contact, as it were, words repeat in my head, the markers must be absorbed. A divine insight, perhaps, that creating my hunter is part of the answer, and yet I deleted. No, I will not doubt. 
No unitologist has ever been so close to cheat death. That withered old tyrant, I must have a matching tenacity. Yes, you're so cool, dude. Oh, is this dude breathing? Oh, God. Warning. Local door protocols corrupted. Rebooting system. Please stand by. Okay. Yeah, who's there? Oh, God. Hold on. I can help you. Can you? Not me. Save hydroponics. We're all dying. Air's poison. But there's still time. Her enzyme will work if... <laughs> she just needs liquid nitrogen. Save us! Oh, goodbye. Uh. Damn. All right. He was right. Air quality is dropping shipwide. Something's poisoning the oxygen and hydroponics. If we lose our air supply... He said we could fix it. He came looking for liquid nitrogen. And there has to be some in the cryogenic slab. Okay. Not like we have a better option. I'll clear you a path to cryo. Thank you. Door protocols rebooted. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, I'm sure there's... I'm sure it's gonna be real fun on the other side of it. Oh, shit. gotta run because I am low on oxygen so we just we just gotta keep on moving Isaac, keep moving, buddy. Oh. Oh. Okay, clearing. Mercer, pump that gas in from hydroponics. Oh. Is the air's already that bad? I'm gonna need a faster way to cryogenics. I'll open the other door from the chemical lab. It'll take you straight there. You could open all these doors this whole time. Come on now. Time to go shopping. Have a productive day. Okay. Uh, all right. I got, honestly, I don't know how much I'm gonna use this gun, so I'm inclined to sell this ammo off for big bucks. Uh, all right, line gun upgrade. Okay. So we're gonna buy <coughs> plenty of these. And then I probably should get, how much more of this ammo do I have? I've got 25 shots of that left.
Okay. Oh, I guess that would make sense, Annabelle. Alrighty. Uh, fire the liquid nitrogen. Yes, let's. And old big boy is gonna be chasing me around this whole time. Dude, these little guys, I hate them. Show me what you got. Come on. Show me what you got. Coolant pipelines. Okay, nothing in here. Oh yeah, I already... I already did stuff in here. We gotta go back through here? Ugh. <clears throat> A lot of retracing our steps. Dude, the fact that this guy can just regenerate at will, that big sucks. Alright, I am not level three. We get level three clearance sometime soon. That you. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'll bet you all these tanks couldn't possibly. Oh. Liquid nitrogen. I wonder what'll happen once I pick that up. Let's go ahead and do this. You guys be nice. Stay in there, okay? They won't. guy's awesome. All right. So, why would a person be like that? Why? Uh, ideas are powerful, man. 
the whole movie of Inception is kind of predicated on the idea that if you have an original thought, it's very hard to get away from. And I would go so far as to say if you think you have an original thought, that probably falls into the same ballpark. It's really easy for us and Isaac to look at this guy and say, like, he's a total piece of shit. What the hell? Why are you sticking all these zombies on me? Why are you being a douche to all your patients? All this stuff. And, yeah, I mean, it's understandable why we would ask that if you're in a position where you're like, I couldn't possibly empathize with that guy. I get it. But for the sake of what we do around here, I'm going to try to explain this because what we're up against is something that is unbelievably difficult to get over on, if not, in some cases, impossible. And it's that this guy believes... In the Unitology Doctrine, he believes that he has a very specific role in forwarding whatever that doctrine is. He sees himself as being closer than any other person in the world to achieving this thing that he fundamentally believes is real. And whether Unitology is actually onto something or not, whether God is actually real or not, or whatever other deity you want to place in that space whether they're real or not this guy believes that it is he's all in <clears throat> and so that means that we have to completely change our frame of reference if we are to understand where he's coming from you have to put yourself in the shoes of a person who sees what unitology offers as truth as rigid truth and that all of these people being expended toward a greater goal is for the greater good, is in the spirit of what Unitology is all about. And as a result, he could easily talk himself into believing that what he is doing is good and that what we are doing is bad because we're getting in his way. That we are no different than any of the other objects that he's been experimenting on, in which case we then get into a conversation about like, Morals, and to what extent are we going to allow a religious doctrine to exist if it's going to cause problems and pain for people? And there's no easy answer to that necessarily in terms of like how the conversation actually plays out. But this guy actually believes he's the good guy. And if you go into this thinking that he also thinks of himself as an evil bad guy, you are completely missing the mark. We might see him as evil bad guy Bond villain. He doesn't see it that way. He sees us the same way we see him. This would be like if we were playing Animal Crossing, for, for him, this would be like if we were playing Animal Crossing and you had invaders to your island who started shutting things off and diverting your engines and, and cutting down your trees and shit. And you'd be like, yo, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to create this beautiful, wonderful living arrangement and you're in here screwing it all up. That's what his perspective is here. And so at some point, sometimes it does come down to you legitimately have to like brute force your way over somebody. Like the, I'm guessing death is the only way that this guy is going to be released from that. And he probably believes the same for me. We're not going to have a meeting of the minds here. Not if his fundamental reality is different than our own. I'm not trying to say he's a lost cause. I mean, with the right environment, it probably could happen, but we don't have that environment. But that's how a person gets to be in this position. It's why ideas and doctrine are scary. It's why you try to get people young. It's why you try to get them isolated. You get them to believe that that is the truth. And as soon as people believe that they think they know what the truth is, it causes all sorts of problems. <clears throat> because you see other people who don't share that viewpoint as somehow being like heretics or problematic, and that may or may not be true. Our homecoming will be... Yeah, see? Truly divine. And I doubt even you can stop a convergence event fueled by the entire population of Earth. Oh, do they believe that every human has to, like, die and converge into one greater... Oh, God. That's my hypothesis. Oh, God. You take these things to Earth, it's all over. Only for the faithless. Humanity will be made whole, Mr. Clark, with or without you. I'd say you've chosen your side. 
Oh, God. I mean, I could poke a thousand holes in this, and I'd sit here for four hours doing so. Uh, but, like, I just find the irony of that is just outrageous to me. Like, this is for all of humanity, except you. And except for other people who don't believe this. Like, if you... It's basically, like, you have to believe in heaven in order to get there. That's kind of shitty. <laughs> like, if heaven's there, and and God is this all-loving thing that wants the good for everyone's good for everybody, why is not everybody allowed to, in like, come in? Like, if you don't believe in it and it's real, you it's just like, no, sorry, dude, you didn't spend your time believing in it. You can't come in. Like, that's what this dude's saying. It doesn't make any sense. But that's how far gone he is down the way that he's been brainwashed into this. This is when you have organizational structures and belonging and all the things that we've talked about that have led people to be so gung ho on this. That you get this where this guy again, he believes that he's doing this for humanity. I have no chance against that. No chance against that. Humanity is going to converge with or without you, brother. And you've chosen your side. So I guess you don't want to be a part of it. Although arguably if this is the uni unification of all of humanity, not including me in that might be a little bit of a hole in the armor, but who am I to doubt? <clears throat> yep, sick mom boss. Yeah, all right. Now, I'm guessing I have to figure out some way to get this guy either into this chamber or something. Because I don't know. I'm supposed to use that nitrogen chamber for something. Oh, God. This is going to be a tough fight here. He's gonna regenerate. All right, so we gotta freeze this guy in here. Gotta be it. Oh, yep. All right, that's what I thought. All right, so I gotta get him in there. Yep. Oh god. Yep. 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 All right. Cool. Well, power of deductive reasoning, I suppose. Come on. Come on, buddy. Not only, I'm gonna have to blow off his limbs and freeze him. Yep, turn around. the nest, but I haven't been able to reach Hammond since he went to the crew deck. Isaac, our air quality is falling fast. If you've got liquid nitrogen, we gotta fix hydroponics. On it. Keep trying to reach Hammond. Mercer, I don't think he's done yet. Tissue sample. Isaac? It's... let's call it a tissue sample from Mercer's pet hunter. Careful. Who knows what mad science went into that thing? Maybe I could find out. Figure out what Mercer's up to. If I'm fast, there has to be a DNA scanner close by. 
Isaac, the hydroponics tram station is sealed off. You'll need another way there. Take the tram back towards the hangar, then head to the repair station. Remember where you took that broken tram car off the tracks? There's an access door in there that'll take you to hydroponics. Cool. And the tissue set. Man, how kind of that guy to leave a large med pack for me. Um, Alright, I don't still have level 3 security clearance, so... At least I don't think I do. Nice little node. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me, friends. Thanks for watching these videos. Whether you're here live or whether you're watching the VOD, I appreciate you being willing to go on this horrific journey with me. I think. Little server room. sealed off room. Okay. How do you know what level clearance you have? I'm pretty sure I have level 2 clearance because Hammond gave me that and I can access level 2 clearance stuff. I don't. I can't access level 3 clearance stuff. They very specifically like give it to me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Jeez, a little dark. Game is dark, dude. All right, back to the hangar. Flight deck tram control. your step. Oh, we're back by the busted ass door. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the crafting table after we go here. All right. Anything worth selling? Well, I don't even carry the saw blade around. This guy. Five nodes. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Plasma cutters all the way up. I'm 
like a glass cannon right now. Probably is worth upgrading this stuff. Um, Feels good. Nice. Save. All right. Tram me. Can do. Oh, hey, buddy. Still, Jesus. You're pathetic. Nice. La la carpe diem, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. Who did that? Stupid ass baby at just did that. Oh, I remember this room. We did some cool stuff in here. Those of you that are coming in on the raid, or if you maybe you just are on the watch page, uh, this is a blind run, so please don't spoil or backseat. I've never played this game before, so I'm experiencing it for the first I time. If you're near hydroponics, check your helmet filters. That air is not safe to breathe. Yeah, I smelled it. The whole deck's rotting. I'm reading a huge mass in food storage. Too big to be anything they grew. It looks like the source of the poison gas. That patient in medical. He said something about creating an enzyme, right? Maybe the scientists left the workstation open. Oof. Oh, all good. All good, Papa Tom. Thank you for the raid. I hope you have a good night. I hope your stream is great. Oh, come on. Hydroponics log, Dr. Elizabeth Cross. Now that sprinklers are fixed, we're working close to maximum capacity. All flora is thriving and food yield has created a surplus. And I had the surplus packed up so we could send it to the colony. The Captain Matthias is strictly enforcing his no-fly order. It's ridiculous. I'm lodging a complaint. Everyone knows Aegis 7 needs help. What harm could some fresh fruit do? Well... Do the people in power want them to be helped? It seems like the answer to that would be no. <clears throat> Alright. Uh... Travel straight here now. That's nice. Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. All right. No problem. It's stinky in here. All 
Oh, tram just follows me. That's nice. May Altman be with you. Chapel services twice weekly. Wow. Those just came out of the toilet. Isn't that fun? Don't use that one. Solace of an elevator. How you doing, Isaac? You doing all right, buddy? Ooh. Look at this. Some fresh vegetables. Could you imagine if the grocery store sprinkle sprinkler sounded like that? Holy Christ. Oh my God, you're like at Kroger and then all of a sudden that shit goes off while you're trying to grab some like jalapenos. Oh my God. Woo. <laughs> That's just the broccoli tree. Yeah, boy, I can't wait for these sprinkler systems to go off. Oh, hi there. Cord and loop. This is Dr. Elizabeth Cross. To all survivors, turn back. It's all gone. Everything we grew. My team. All dead. That monster. Please, leave. Get somewhere safe. If I can find a way to kill it, somehow. Jacob. If you're hearing this, you know I have to try. Very cool. Uh, this is Dr. Lindsay To all survivors, torn back. A taste of home. Wow. It's all gone. Tomatoes. Everything we grew. I tea. got it here. Pumpkins. Wow. All dead. Corn. That monster. Watermelons. More tomato. Ooh, they don't look good. Hydroponic Central Lab. Oh, look how beautiful this room is. I kind of can't stand how beautiful this game is. Oh, man. The lighting and the environment is just so freaking perfect. Unreal. Look at that. Oh. Morning. Liquid nitrogen supply depleted. All right, to West Tower, to Mining Tram Station. We're just going to take a look around real quick. Uh, to Food Storage. Warning. Liquid nitrogen supply no. depleted. 
Warning, liquid nit activate enzyme synthesis. Liquid nitrogen replenished. Beginning enzyme synthesis. Enzyme synthesis complete. Caution, do not ingest. Retrieve enzyme, yes. Any luck? Yeah, I finished the enzyme. It's been modified to digest something big. They must have been trying to kill whatever's in food storage. Let's hope it works. Can't wait to find out what that is. <laughs> what could it be? I'll bet it's the Thorian. right this leviathan is that what's poisoning the air the air my team it's destroyed everything i designed a special enzyme to kill it i just needed liquid nitrogen to complete the synthesis but the people i sent to medical never came back i've got some of that enzyme here oh my god how listen we need to inject it into the leviathan you can't get into food storage, but there's another way. It's risky. Riskier than running out of air? My team has been altered. They're all connected to the Leviathan, breathing out its toxins. That connection goes both ways. Okay. So if I get to your team and inject them... The enzyme will be carried right into the Leviathan's heart. Find the Weezers and their suffering. And when the Leviathan is weak enough, we bent the bastard into space. Okay. Damn. Inject Weezer one. Do the things that I want to do. Pork and beans. All right. Well, let's go to that West Tower and see what they got for us, huh? Our aim, no accidents. So your aim doesn't look very good. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, let's aim a little harder. Oh shit! No, get in! Out, oh, Isaac! No! <laughs> Jesus, idiot! I knew that was gonna be a little too hasty there. All right, whatever. Weapon upgrade. Ripper upgrade. More credits. Alright. God. The worst hallway ever. Ripper upgrade, graph extended. I only got one. I 
I do like the upgrade economy. It does make you like have to think about what you want to do. Did you use the line gun yet? Yep. Oh, is this one broken? Okay. I don't know what the hell these are even trying to spray. This looks like a boss arena. Played enough video games. It does spin, yes. To an extent, yes. You actually value the resources you pick up. out of here. Ooh. Dude, you just come out infinitely? This is crazy. Such a peaceful atmosphere. A seedling room. That sounds like a fun place to be. Clearance confirmed. Uh-uh. Stomping on all you fools. Uh-uh. Force gun. Force energy. Whoa, baby. This thing. Force gun. Short range kinetic booster device. Powerful range kinetic booster device. Primary fire gravity well. Creates a dense gravitational point in space which pulls enemy toward it. Oh, wow. Okay. Probably pretty good for large groups of enemies. We'll have to test that out at some point. Clearance confirmed.
Okay. We got over here. Security request retrieved. Hello, security. This is Dr. Cross in Hydroponics. Something just hit the hull near food storage. We think it's a rogue asteroid. I have people injured from decompression. We need medics and crowd control right away. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Everyone out of food storage. It's alive. How can it be alive? Asking the real questions, homie. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, it's that. That looks like a Weezer. Toxic hazard detected. You a Weezer? God, they scream when they come after me. Okay, so Weezer one down. <clears throat> God damn it. Bye. Oh, it just holds him in place. Okay, so I can like knock Isaac shit Cross back. Again. I never asked your name. Isaac Clark, systems engineer. Engineer. Have you seen Jacob Temple? No, I haven't. But I'm looking for someone too. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Dr. Brennan? Doesn't she help people leave unitology? Yeah, like my mother. That's how we met. I hope she's okay. The unitologists here didn't like anyone questioning them. And since the captain died, they've all snapped. Yep, sounds about right. Okay, why not go to floor two first? Duration Tower. Alright. New item for purchase subsonic ice oscillator. Refrigeration. Whoa. Whoa. All right. This is a neat room. Yeah. 
helpful that these guys have explody parts. West Refrigeration Core. The Refrigeration Core is a cold temperature zero-G environment. Do not enter without proper protective suit and gravity boots. Yeah, hey, I've got those. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Entering zero gravity. Are you okay? Spice. You hate to see that. There's, we got a big boy in here. Now we got another baby. How's the other one at? What the hell? Where are you? Oh, it's like inside. Okay. taken care of. I don't like your babies. Entering zero gravity. All right, well, that was a neat little space. This game in VR would be terrifying. Oh man, it would be pretty nuts, yeah. Especially if it was first person.
the hell? That was weird. All right, uh, let's go open that door over there. So what do we got? Doors, jungle ambiance. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I need that. Therapeutic ambience, yes. Oh. Dude, how do I even trust that you're real right now? Like every time we thought we found her, she was like a hologram. No, I don't like flying things. Dude, that was crazy. It tried to like take control of that dude. That's why you stomp everybody. Always. You take no chances. I see. Okay, so. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go down there. What could possibly be down there that's any worse than anything we've ever seen? a little too soon on that. Wow, really? A one-shot kill on that? I'll take it. Quarantine lifted. Well, at least we've seen it before. It wasn't worse than anything we've seen before, but it certainly wasn't better. No. Alright, where's this bad boy going? Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Got here. Gravity systems key card needed. Alright. Did 
Alright, Weezer, where are you at? Like I can get to it from here. Deck systems key card. Workbench. I got time. I got 84 seconds. There. Okay, interesting. So I am going to have to oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Those things are gross, man. <laughs> Those things are like legitimately. There is obviously a part of this that I have not properly shot. Maybe it, there is a way to get in there. Toxic hazard detected. Like, yeah, I mean, it's right. Oh, there's another door on the other side there. Okay. How do I get there? Hmm. So, I mean, I feel like I've explored the majority of this space, so maybe I go back up. guy up there. Wow, they are everywhere. So I'm going to have to get up there somehow. Air filtration hall. Yeah, or I guess that, that would be third floor access. I guess that makes sense. That's a lot of contact email, so we're going to go ahead and sell that off. And we're definitely going to buy... ...more of this. wonder if we're going to actually end up having to come in here eventually to kill whatever the main thing is.
the hell? Oh, interesting. Oh, good. Another time that we get to fight. Oh, oh! Dude, I'm amazed that Isaac doesn't even like scream when that happens. He just like takes it and strikes. Mission, they said. Not this. Not seeing my dead brother on the fucking cameras. All this death. Imagine what the marker could do in the wrong hands. This is about CEC again. Just thinking. If some corporate asshole tries to take the marker, you and me could do something about it. You're leaning pretty hard on that if. Oh come on. Where's Hammond? What's he doing? I don't know. If I don't focus, or run out of air before it matters. Oh yeah. So obviously a little bit of reactivity there. I like. I do wonder. <clears throat> um, Isaac's obviously got a sensitive spot for really anything that has to do with unitology. And if the marker is something that is directly tied to unitology and if there's any legitimacy to it i imagine that's probably going to scramble him up uh and so he seems very disinterested in engaging with anything around that probably because of his family history with it he, he's he's focused on i gotta repair this shit i'm going full maintenance man right now because attending to the religious implications of the marker and all this stuff is just too emotional for me and i can't have that muddying the task but that's got to be eating at him. I mean, he, he kind of loses either way here. If the marker is not anything legitimate as it relates to unitology, then it looks like his mom and people he loved wasted their time engaging with the religion. If it is legitimate, then what are the implications of that? Look how horrible it is. And my mom worshipped that. Like, you, you just don't win with this. So uh, his sensitivity to that makes sense. And I, I get why he gets reactive to it when it gets brought up. I, I admire his short-term pragmatism for sure. He's got a job to do and we got to do it. We can, we can deal with the bullshit on the back end. Honestly, that's a perspective I think a lot of people should take on certain things. Is like, right now, broader implications don't matter. What matters is we have a we have a task immediately in front of us that we have to. None of this other stuff is either even going to come to fruition if we don't get air back in the ship. It's an important reality to sit with. Oh God. Entering zero gravity. somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I am disoriented. Turbine control. 
Turbine turned off. Oh, okay, so that'll make it easier when we go back. Filtration tube annex. Sam Biscuit, thanks for the 47 months. Warning. Thermodynamic purifiers malfunctioning. Stand clear of filtration tubes. Oh, shit. Look at that. Cool. Ishimura crew members, your ship is full of fragile equipment. Please take care around emergency door locks and other sensitive devices. In case of damage, contact CEC facilities director on com frequency Isaac, get out. Ooh. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, Warning. baby, cook. Thermodynamic purifiers malfunctioning. Stand clear of filtration tubes. <laughs> oh, God. Get filtered, bitch. Use the environment like that. It's pretty fun. Thermodynamic purifiers malfunctioning. Stand clear of filtration tubes. Text log. This manual is open to a chapter entitled Thermodynamic Purifiers Maintenance and Upkeep. The notes section has been expanded with Hold all the regulators from the purifiers and crank them up as high as they go. Fucking crazy, but all I can do should burn off at least some of the gas, I think. Fuck, I don't know. I have to try anything. Seeing Hidaka puke up her own lungs deleted, I can't. It can't be me. Oh, God, help us. God is trying to help you. He's trying to turn you into Necromorph. Don't you listen to the Church of Unitology? Come on, now. Trying to give you the sweet release of death. I want to know who got that flare back there. Here, he's right here.
be here all night. Isaac, please, I need you. Help me. <laughs> Toxic hazard detected. Okay. We haven't fun yet, kids. Come on up with me, buddy. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. So we got one more up there. Tweak. I'm gonna go to bed tonight with Twinkle Twinkle Little he Star stuck in my head. from afar. Okay. Hey, bud. Come to get your arms blown off? Of course you did, dick. Ooh. All right, level three. Ah! Ooh, Ruby Semiconductor, I like that. That's why you explore every nook and cranny. <laughs> Naturalist, Dr. E. Cross. Alright, chem lab report to Dr. E. Cross from Professor H. Jägerwald. Subject, organic growth. Elizabeth. As requested, I've attached the latest test results for the organic growth we've observed on the ship. I know you're busy, but we really need to run a joint study with Dr. Howell. This substance is absolutely fascinating. Given its affinity for dead tissue, at first I thought it was some sort of fungus, but the cells most closely resemble bacteria with viral behavior. The organism infects other cells through osmosis, then mutates and reproduces agamogenetically. Agamogenetically. What's the most incredible is the speed at which it grows. One of these bacterium reproduces 20-fold in just one minute. That's why we haven't been able to pinpoint any specific origin point, I think. It just seemed to be in multiple points on the ship all at once. I've never seen anything like it. I won't stake my reputation on it, but I think this may be a genuine alien life form. Professor Howley theorizes it's a habitat transformer. The levels of gaseous discharge are tremendous, which is why it smells so bad. But to what end, we simply don't know. What organisms might exist symbiotically with it? Are they out there? Could they be sentient even? I'll keep you posted, Heinrich. Okay, interesting. So there's not a way for me to get to that other guy via that. That was just the biology equivalent of somebody blathering about narcissism on TikTok? Yeah, I know. I, it sounded very not <laughs> legitimate. <laughs> but hey, 
sciencey words to suspend your disbelief on, huh? figure out how to get up there then because if the elevator won't let me go up there right like it's only up and down it's not yet yeah. might as well buy some shit at the store while we're here I didn't even think about it. Oh, right, I got the thing. Uh. E, use. I'm trying to use it. There we go. Okay. There we go. So I have to stay until it's paid for every single one of them. Damn. 
Some heavy shit, man. Exiting zero gravity. Access to food storage. There we go. All right. Oh, geez, Louise, man, this is quite the journey. Let's go ahead and keep running. Oh, I gotta go back through this stupid ass hallway. Damn it. storage is going to be a fun little trip that we're going to take in part five so thank you friends for taking the time to watch part four i appreciate that you are still willing to join me for this journey it's been a lot of fun for me i hope it's been a lot of fun for you i assume it is since you've been continuing to watch i hope you leave a thumbs up and a comment down below follow the links down in the description come hang out with us on twitch sometime or join us in discord we'd love to have you um yeah you guys are awesome if you're binging i'll see you right here in the next episode if you're waiting for the next one to come out i'll get it out to you as soon as i can you matter you're awesome thank you for watching my stuff i'll see you in the next one